we've had a look at some basic mapping techniques and now it's time to go on to some more advanced stuff. To do this we need to be able to get our head around the idea that projectors and cameras are essentially the same device. The only difference is the lights on the inside of the projector and it's on the outside of a camera. But they work in exactly the same way, it's just that the light travels in a different direction through the lens. And if you look at some cameras and projectors, you can, especially the early ones, you, you can see that uh, there's very distinct physical similarities between the two. So to do our advanced mapping we need to find a camera and we need to find one with a lens that's comparable to the projector lens that we're going to be using. This gets us around the problems that we get from distortion due to parallax. Uh, wide angle lenses produce very different distortion to long throw lenses. For this one I've used a 28mm lens on the Nikon camera which corresponds to the uh, to the standard projector lenses that you get on these domestic projectors like the one here. Uh, this gives us a, a 1.2 to 1 throw ratio and basically for a 35mm camera a 35mm lens gives you a 1 to 1 throw. It's a digital camera so it's slightly different but that's the principle. So we take a photograph of our screen which in this case is the Codenova VMX, from the projection position. It's absolutely essential that the camera's going to be in exactly the same place as the projector. We then take this photo into Photoshop, trim it down so it nicely fills the frame, and then start to draw. It's going to take you a little while, but basically you need to draw out a mask that exactly overlays the image that we got from the camera. This you then pop straight back into the projector and project it back out onto the screen and align the projector up until the projected image of the screen, the code and over, exactly overlays the real world object. That means your mask perfectly in place. You then just use your mask to uh, align your images in whatever VJ software you want to use and away you go.